All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where today we are right we left off in the last episode here in our lovely base, which we made a lot of progress on in the last episode. And oh my, we just got a new blueprint, a grass spreader. Ah, uh, that is one of the new things. Hello? Grows grass outside, generates biomass. Ooh. Now, we currently technically really have no need for biomass because we don't have a um, biodome yet. But, might be good to get some spreading and, hello, grass. We could have some greenery and, oh my, actually produces quite a bit of oxygen down there. Does use a decent amount of energy, but not too bad overall. As I compare to... Okay, well, it's definitely not as good as a Vegetube Tier 3 plus the Vegetube, you know has the seeds in it that have the modifiers, uh, but it would be nice to get some green. Though I'm a little bit worried that the grass spreader is going to function <sighs> like the the seed spreader, where once you destroy the thing, the grass disappears. I always very much dislike that about that, because then you'd have to build those spreaders all over the place. Which, oh, I'm wondering now that the game has been released rather than pro prologue, if things like the rockets, the seed spreader rocket, work. And I actually think there was, if I'm remembering, wasn't there a grass spreading rocket too in here? That's a seed spreader rocket, DNA manipulator, tree spreading rocket. Huh, so is there no grass one? No, another a tree spreader. Just a generic tree spreader. Yeah, not seeing any other rocket for that, but I wonder if once you get to that point of the seed spreader rocket, if that might start creating said environment outside of just these spreaders that get rid of things when they go away. Granted, maybe that's changed too. I don't know. Perhaps once we spread them, they're good. We'll have to... St oh, hey, we got the biodome now too. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, that's not what we're doing today. Well, at least for right now. My plan was to actually build our launch platform. Oh boy, that does require a lot of power, doesn't it? We have the power. Thank crap. Uh, where do I want to build that thing and what all does it take? So we're going to need three titanium, three iron, and three super alloy. Okay, got you. Let's put... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I did build the additional things over here, didn't I? And I didn't really start sorting them, did I? Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. <laughs> oh, what do I... I got nothing in that one. Okay, okay. So we just need three iron and I have... No iron right now. All right, well, that's not hard to get. So, let us venture out into the world and get a couple pieces of iron. All right, we got one here. And where do I want to build this thing? Hmm. Yeah, I'm intrigued if those spreader rockets are actually going to work properly, uh, unlike in Prologue. In the Prologue, they just did give you the bonus so that, you know, you could help produce more of the three main terraforming things you know, over time, but I wonder if they'll actually do the thing now. You know what? I think we'll just build it right here. Yeah. Oh, God, I forgot how big you are. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, I think that's good, right? The well, well, mm, mm, mm. Okay, no, that only moves in 90 degree increments. All right, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, up we go. Let's go see what rockets we currently have. Hmm... Up, and... All right, so we've got the Magnetic Field Protection one attract, that attracts the Iridium Asteroids and the Uranium Asteroids. Okay, okay, so we might want to do an Iridium one. Well, no, we still have the cave over here. And it does only take one rocket engine, so that's not too bad to do. That's one thing, again, like last episode, we should remember, always keep in supply a rocket engine. <laughs> Just in case, so I don't accidentally get rid of all of my iridium. Oh, boy. Oh, but I kind of want to do this grass spreader, though, real quick. What did that require again? Two water, magnesium, and aluminum, and a seed lerma. I actually got all of that in here. Oh, nope, that's not the seed container. We only have one seed lerma. All right, well, cool. Let's use that. Uh, what did I need? Aluminum-wise, just one. 
All right, that's easy. We needed a magnesium and we needed two water. Yeah, just go create that. I'm intrigued how this is gonna go. So let us produce two a water. And we're gonna produce it where we can see it out of our lovely new window over here. <laughs> I really like this thing. I'm kind of I'm kind of been rethinking my design. I'm thinking more of a U shape now rather than the courtyard thing I was thinking. So we could have these fun rounded corners at like two points and have like an open area in here. But let's see. Ooh, that is actually a pretty pretty good wide area. I think that'll be good, right? Oh god, I can't see the other direction. Okay, yeah, right here, right from this angle, will be good. I kind of wanted to engulf a little bit of our base there there we go beautiful yay and that is more oxygen looks like 10.8 and we're gonna start producing biomass which we actually can do now we don't have a seed lerma <laughs> we just used our one seed lerma for this wonderful oh <gasps> the ore extractor Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> what are we to our next stage? About a quarter of the way there to rain. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what do we need for you? You also produce heat. We need osmium. Crap. Oh, we can't get into osmium yet. It's in the caves that are blocked off by ice. Or are they? Oh my god, I just remembered something. Oh god, I also need more water. <laughs> Let's actually take two of these and two of these. I'm gonna make an ice and also I need two of you one of you I'll need more iron here in a moment. We're gonna go on an adventure. I just remembered that um, Past the sand falls isn't there that one Potential path we can use to get to the area with all the sulfur and I'm curious if we could then get into the osmium cave from that side because right now the osmium cave entrances uh, are blocked off by ice but I wonder if we go through that direction, if we could. That's probably going to be a no, but we're going to find out. Okay, so let's make water, water, oxygen. Uh, and on our way, let's actually... Hmm, I was going to say stop by in the Iridium Caves to uh, get the golden chest that's in there, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know. This might be a better plan to because whatever's gonna be in that golden chest, we should probably do first. So maybe we'll hit the. Uh, what did I just say? Sentence-wise, did that make any sense? I just my brain just went. Wait, did that sentence make any sense whatsoever? Let's go to the possible iridium cave entrance first. Grab what we can there, and then come back for this potentially. All right, there we go. We got our air. The cave is over there, all iced in. So let's go this way. Magnificent. Ooh, while we're over here, we should also try and find that, um, the little hidden base. And hello, crash ship over there. You have a lot of good stuff. We're gonna need another base for you too. Where was that? Hold on, let me get up here real quick, actually. Okay, that was rocks. I saw something that kind of looked like maybe it might be a thing. All right, so there's the bit that goes into the secret underground thingy. Let's build a thing here, and this will actually be a good, like, partway point. Oh, I didn't grab iron. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something. All right, we need three iron. Uh, I was so focused on my planning that I forgot to look for iron. Oh. Uh. No, that's all titanium. That's, oh, 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 there we go. Pass right over it. Beautiful. All right, let's actually build it like, well, no, let's build it over here. Okay, right here. So, you and you and in for air. Perfect. Uh, Nah, I don't want to build anything else here right now. I was kind of thinking maybe a little workshop, but... Hey, a Lerma Seed! Sweet. Oh my god, yes. Oh, oh my god, yes! Oh, there went my whole inventory. <laughs> I wanted everything. Oh, my hydration level. Yeah, take care of that real quick. Oh boy. We may have to go back. We may have to go back home. Okay, okay. First, 
Our ship has crashed for unknown reasons on this planet. Many of us died on impact. Some of us died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is getting low. I'm going outside one last time to try and find some water. There was ice everywhere, sir. You could have you could have used. All right, yeah, we got to go back home before I. I, I didn't I didn't plan this part through very well. I didn't realize there was so much in there, and that's a lot of good stuff. Alright, so back this way. And on the way... Oh god, there was an iron right there and there. <laughs> Alright, okay, yeah. I can't pick up anymore. Let's go back, drop off this crap. Uh. <laughs> oh, poor planning! Poor planning! Okay, okay. We were almost... there. There's the, like, gap right there that we can get through. And we'll grab enough materials on the way over there to build another uh, base of operations in there for air and see if we can get to the Iridium. I don't know if that's the case, but I like the idea of giving that a try this time around. Because we, by the time we discovered that, we had already melted the ice and were able to get through the caves ourselves. We have a rocket engine now, too. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of thinking maybe I build a chest over on the launch pad just to keep this one rocket there. Hmm. Oh, hey, the spreader thing has been working. Nice, 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 nice. We got grass. Yeah. Look at our lovely grass. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, back in. What was it doing? Okay, okay. We picked up a lot of crap here. We got some seeds. You, you. We got another lerma, which is good for future things. Oh, hey, a bioplastic. I didn't notice that. We're gonna get some food. I'll keep one of you on me. Uh, iridium. Beautiful. I didn't get any uranium, but we did get aluminum. I'll put the bioplastic in here with this right now. Where was I putting the fabric? I think I was putting it in with the food right now for some reason. Yeah, there we go. I'll put you in here for the time being as well. Alright, alright. I only need three of you than you. And hey, I got everything I need for the next housing unit. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Chip. What do we get? Oh, the shredder. Ma oh, the shredder machine was the one that didn't seem to work last time. I figured the shredder machine just became this, but um, no. Well, I'm intrigued what the shredder machine could be used for then. But all right, off we go. Back this way to try and find Osmium. The only other place I know for Osmium is another cave that... Oh god, was it over that way? Oh boy, I don't remember. But I think that's I think that's filled with ice too. I don't know this 100% because of the fact that it has been a very long time. And uh, by the time we found that cave, ice was melted anyways. So I don't know if that'll actually be a thing. But I'm intrigued to see if we can get through this area over here and see if it does open us up to the cave. That would actually be pretty cool. I have a feeling the other side of the cave is also going to be blocked off by ice, but we'll see. And hopefully, you know, it shouldn't be too much longer before we melt that stuff anyways, but man, I, yeah, I could really use some osmium. Be nice to build that, uh, biodome. Oh, well, let's get in there for air, and then go through the pass. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Have to explore that at some point too. Get all the cool seeds and stuff from in there. Lovely. I also think there's another rocket engine in that place as well. I don't quite remember. But I remember us finding. Hmm, that's the thing. I remember us finding a rocket engine out of this direction in the desert, but I don't remember if it was from the ship or the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, we can pass through here! Beautiful! Oh, look at this! We're into the sulfur land! Oh, yay! Cool. And that means also the fall, the sand falls over there. Let's build ourselves a little uh, place in here. Where do I want to build it? Actually, somewhat central. Ish. I could gather some sulfur while we're here right now, but that actually might be a bit of a waste, considering I got nothing to use sulfur on for the time being. You know what, let's build our thing right here. Oh, yep, there's the other side of that ice cave. Beautiful. 
There we go. And boom. And air. Magnificent. All right, let's see if we can get through this other... I'd wait, the what? Is there another pass? Oh, wait, no, that goes the sandfall, doesn't it? You know, I should really probably build that compass thing. Because that would be... That would be quite handy to have. <laughs> I keep looking at different directions going, Oh my god, what way am I going? Oh, it is full of ice. No! Oh, I should have... I should have... I should have figured. I should have figured. Dang. Yep, whole thing's just full of ice. Well, let's go take a brief look at the ice fall and then head back home. So yeah, we can't build the biodome yet because we can't get to Osmium. And the only other place that there is Osmium that I can kind of remember, I don't think is going to work because it's probably also full of ice. So we're not seeing that's more of an end game thing there with the Osmium. Ah, uh, the glorious sand falls. Ooh, chest. Oh, was there a golden chest in this biome? Oh god, I don't remember. I'll take all of you and deconstruct you so I don't think about you again in the future. I don't remember if there was a golden chest. I do not remember where any of the golden chests are that I used to find. Uh, we didn't find all of them in our previous prologue game, and I only remember where a couple of them are. Alright, well, we got another one here. Just a normal chest, though. But, good stuff still. And deconstruct. Okay, okay, let's go back home. We're gonna have to go back to... Well, no, I have an oxygen bottle. Yeah, screw it. We'll just use the oxygen bottle if we get low. We'll try and get to the uh, thing outside. Our little shelter outside of the canyon pass. Turn on my weak little fly... Oh, there was another! I'll take the iridium and the aluminum. The rest I'll leave. I'll have to come back for that one at some point. I will never remember to. <laughs> okay, okay. Back home to empty up all this stuff. And then, yeah, still, I did want to get that golden one. So if we can get that, we'll build a third tier three uh, veggie tube so that we can put that golden seed into it. Uh, I think that'll be a good plan. Yeah, let's get there for air. We should be able to make it without issue. Magnificent. All right. Well, we've been making pretty good progress on this little series, though. That'll be, you know, we did learn a lot, of course, in our original, our original outing in this game in the prologue. Just can't wait to see uh, what, how things do progress in the future. I can't wait to see this world actually green, and start having trees. We're still a little bit away from that uh, DNA manipulator, though, which is actually the thing for that. But still, can't wait for it. It should be magnificent. Alright, but for now, let's go drop off all of this. And then go back in there. Grab the golden chest, if I can remember quite where it is. And then also probably grab a little bit more iridium, too. And then probably be a good plan. Oop, oop. And then, yeah, we'll probably expand out our base a little bit more today. Because we got a pretty good uptick on our terraformation index right now. I mean, clearly we need to build more so that we can, you know, make a tick, tip, bleh, tick up, there's wording, even quicker. But yeah, we still also have a lot of things to explore. Like, I still haven't gone back to the original crash ship we can go see. There's the new one over there, the big ship over there. And they have so many good resources. Alright. Oh, no, I need to keep all that in there right now. Keep you. Seeds. We got you, we got you, we got you, we got you. Let's sort. <laughs> uh, we got a couple pieces of iridium. Enough for some uh, iridium rods which is wonderful i'll just put the sulfur in here for now too don't care the aluminum i've been putting the bioplastic in here for now we will eventually expand this out further for more storage but for the time being since we don't have a whole lot in these drop you trying to figure out if I want to no no because we're going for the golden chest and then we'll be back so we don't i was about i was debating if i need to make another thing uh, for shelter. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Beautiful. To the golden chest. 
And then after that, I think we'll add... Yeah, we'll work on building more things. We'll build a third Vegitube. We'll probably build a third Heater. And a... Oh, God. Fourth? Nope. Yeah, yeah. Fourth Drill. Beautiful. <laughs> I think that'll be good. Should have plenty of materials to do that with once I do grab this chest. But we shall see. God, now where was that thing? I know that there... I, I'm trying to remember where everything is, and you guys know me with memory. It's just not good. <laughs> I remember, I think, two chests in here. It's just which one was which and where were they? I know that there's one over up there. I think one over here, maybe? That's a no. A lot of good iridium. Ooh, flower pot! Ah, oh, so we can make our room a little bit more green. Ah, oh, magnificent. Alright, up here, up here, up here. Yeah, we got that ice cave. Alright, I see that chest. Its color is blue. I shall take and destroy. There was a golden chest in here, right? I think the other one was over there. So let's go find it. And then, yeah, we might actually, yeah, we might fill our thing with more iridium after that, too. That'd be good. Well, we actually got a decent amount of iridium right now. Maybe we use more base materials. No, not here. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Hey. What color is it, though? It looks... Aw, oh, crap. It's just blue. Oh, I thought there was a gold one in here. Hey, we got another chip, though. Oh, crap. Was there not? Well, like I said, my memory is god-awful. So... <laughs> oh, no. I could have sworn there was a golden chest in here. Uh, no, not down there. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, how much inventory space do I have left? Yeah, we need actually iron. We don't have a lot of iron right now. Well, we did get some, but... Let's pick up that. It's magnesium. We actually do. Actually, yeah. Let's grab titanium. We actually are most low on that at the moment. I could have sworn there was a golden chest here. Boy, yeah. I really don't remember, huh? I got one more spot for one more titanium. I mean, I am going to look over the edge here again, though, just to make sure it didn't no? No. Oh, man. I think I've gone insane. Well, no. Not really. I'm just... My normal memory serving me about as well as my normal memory does. Ooh. Thought that was titanium at first sight, but no. Oh, well. We got iron. Alright. Get air and let's go build. We didn't get a one I wanted, but, you know, we still do have other seeds that a Vegetube Tier 3 would be useful for. Ah, dang it. Ooh. You know what? I actually think maybe I kind of want to rethink my plans here. Because we should actually have enough iridium to make two iridium rods, which would get us what we need for the jetpack. And the jetpack would be very handy for versatility, uh, you know, use of moving around for mobility. There are... I don't remember if it was on that ship or that ship, but there is a golden chest on top of one of them. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on that. That'd be far better use of our resources right now, I think. Alright, let's put you in there. Oh no, I have some more food there. Everything else is good. Oh nope, that's uranium. Why did I go there? Aluminium. You know what sort? Why do I not do that every time? Assuming we got the super alloy. I think we should. Oh, crap. That also reminds me. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. What did... Oh, yeah. You were the thing that needed the osmium. I forgot, and I thought you needed osmium. Never mind. Oh, the ore extractor. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's pop all this into here for right now, because I don't remember what resources we need. Let me go do these chips. We're a little bit all over the place today, but decode! GPS satellite! Oh, good, good, good. So we actually could use the mapping screen. 
And a lamp. Ooh, that's new. Neat. Oh my god, we're almost to rain! Oh, holy crap, sweet! <laughs> we were at a quarter of the way or when we started. Oh, awesome! We're gonna have rain soon! Oh, I'm so happy. Yay! Okay, what does this take? Alright, we just need two jet engines, so four uranium, two super alloy, and two iridium rods. Okay, we can do that. We can do that perfectly fine. One, two, three, four. Why did I go you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. Are we a little sh <gasps> Atmospheric water collector. Two, four, six. Oh, we're one short iridium. Ah, oh, crap. Back to the cave. <laughs> we have the water collected, though, too. That is actually really nice because I hate always having to go grab ice for water. One iridium short, of course. Ah, oh, I want to get the jetpack. That'd be so great. I mean, we do have a whole jet engine, but like I said, we're going to keep that engine, or rocket engine rather, in reserve just in case. We're always going to keep that one just in case I run out of iridium. That will be our backup engine. Alright, so just need one iridium. And we'll be good to go. And up here, I see you have a number of them up here. I think next time we'll actually do like a more proper, well, we might as well grab a, at least three more while we're here just for other purposes. Oop. There we go, got that one, and, oh, come on, that one, I'm also clipping through somewhat. Oh, I can fit one more, one more, one more, over here, beautiful. All right, so make the two rods that we can. Boy, I wish it didn't take nine freaking iridium to make the rods. But yeah, the jetpack will be great because it also does, if I'm remembering correctly, make us go a bit faster. So we'll be able to move around the world quicker. We'll have more verticality and mobility. And all in all, it'll make our life much better. Hopefully. <laughs> Plus, if I want to build something on the roof, I can get on a roof. Though I am also now remembering that doesn't the jetpack in this game, like, function real weird? <laughs> like, you can only go so high above whatever's below you. So if you, like, were flying up here, you'd suddenly jump up in height and altitude. <laughs> uh, I kind of remember that. Alright, so one, two, what else did I need? Oh, yeah, the super alloy that I forgot to grab. One, two... Magnificent. So one, two, titanium. Oop, did I, I did grab it. <laughs> and jetpack. Beautiful, beautiful. Put the iridium in there. I do have the thing for it. Yeah, let's get a compass. Oh boy. Two aluminum, silicon, and magnesium. We got everything around here for that. One, two, one, two. Beautiful. That'll be handy. Talking about it earlier that we should have it. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Compass. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, what do we need for the water collector? Maybe take care of that real quick. Oh, we can do that easy. Ah, oh, sweet. I already forgot what I needed. Aluminum, super alloy. Okay, okay. So aluminum. One, super alloy. Then iron, silicon, magnesium, cobalt. Iron, silicon, magnesium, cobalt. Sweet. It's gonna shut my power down, isn't it? <laughs> Where do I wanna build this thing? You know what? Uh, for now, I'll just build it here. We still have power. Sweet. Did that do anything besides? Now it just uses energy and makes water. But you know what? I love that it makes water. And yay, we have vertical flight! Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah, and it does move us a bit quicker. Oh, magnificent. That is wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy about this. This is going to make our life so much easier, and I'm so glad that we didn't have to find a, a blueprint for it. Oh, yay. So what I think we're going to do is actually end the episode here right now, and in the next episode... Uh, might as well. There we go. In the next episode, I think what we'll do 
So maybe head back to that initial ship there. <gasps> Our first rain! Yay! What's the next phase? Liquid, oh my God, we're moving to liquid water. Yes, which means that with liquid water, we should start seeing the demise of the ice caves. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Yay, look at our wonderful, wonderful rain. But yeah, in the next episode, we will, I think, go check out that ship over there. We'll, of course, build another little uh, shelter over that direction and get those things over there, because it would be good to get some more seeds, which actually, I mean, we're already pretty good on seeds. Perhaps I can ignore that. Uh, maybe other other materials that we do need, and fabric is definitely one of those things we, you know, got to find in places. And I would like to make a more proper home eventually for all of my stuff, you know, a little bedroom, rather than the last time where I just kind of ignored it because it didn't really do anything valuable. <laughs> But who knows? Maybe it does now. I have no idea. But that's going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next episode when, you know, we'll continue to uh, be on our merry way here. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one.